is becoming increasingly globalized and computer technology is playing a vital role in this process. In schools around the world, students are using computers to learn, collaborate, and create. This trend is having a profound impact on education. One of the biggest benefits of the globalization of computer technology in school is that it gives students access to the world of information and resources. With just a few clicks, students can research topics from all over the world, connect with experts in their field, and collaborate with peers from other countries. This access to information and research helps students to learn more effectively and efficiently. Another benefit of this is it prepares students from globalized workforce. In today's world, many jobs acquire employees to be able to use computer and communicate with people from other cultures. By exposing students to computer technology and globalization in the classroom, schools are helping them to develop the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in the globalized workforce. Aside for those benefits, there are also some challenges that need to be addressed. One challenge is not all schools have equal access to computer technology. In some parts of the world, students have access to state-of-the-art computer and technology, while other parts of the world, students have shared outdated computers or don't have access computer at all. This inequality in access can create a digital divide between education from different socioeconomic backgrounds. Another challenge is that the globalization of computer technology can lead to the language barriers. With students from all over the world collaborating and communicating online, it is important to make sure that everyone has access to translation and interpretation services. Otherwise, some students may be left out on the conversation. But one way to address the challenges is to invest in training and resources for teachers. Teachers need to be trained in how to use computer technology effectively in the classroom and how to teach students about globalization. Additionally, school needs to have resources to provide students with access to computers and translation services. Hello, I'm Dan Smith. In the United States, class of students collaborated with students from China on a project to design a more sustainable city. But some students in a group felt that the Chinese students were not sharing their ideas fully and that they were dominating the project. Hi, I'm Mahatma Gandhi. Now, in India, a group of students use computers to create a mobile app that helps farmers to get better price for their crops. But some students in a group were accused of plagiarism after it was revealed that had used code from a similar app that developed in another country. In South Africa, a student used a computer to develop a teaching method for mathematics. But the teaching method was not widely adopted by other teachers. And the students struggled to get funding and support their research. If you are a parent, teacher, or school administrator, I encourage you to get involved in the globalization of computer technology in schools. There are many ways to get involved such as donating computers to the school in need, volunteering to teach students about computer technology, or advocating for policies that support the use of computer technology in classroom. By working together, we can ensure that all students have opportunity to learn and succeed in a globalized world.